Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So today we're going to take a look at this, whatever it might be, in this little box here. I'm not actually sure what it is, it's literally just arrived, it's not very big, not very heavy. So it's probably a personal stereo or something like that. So let's take a quick look inside and see what we've got. The plot thickens. Headphones, oh nice. <laughs> Well, whatever's in there, I didn't expect it to come with these rather uh, superb looking things. Wow, they're like a Blade Runner or something. Metallic fluorescent blue. Right, lose, lose the packaging. So this isn't why you called. Um, this are, or these are, some headphones. I don't know if these ones work or not. I keep a pair with me all the time just in the studio here, just for testing when I'm working out on different uh, stereos and what have you. But uh, always useful to have some more. I don't know if they work or not. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Here is MG34DT from Sanyo. And we'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see this. But that looks absolutely stunning. Very nice. Made in Japan. And I've got to say, this case looks like it's made literally yesterday. It's factory fresh. That's beautiful. The studs are really nice and shiny on there. The uh, little tags for the carrying strap beautiful anyway enough about the case let's put that to one side and here's the unit proper then so we've got you can see here it's got the Dolby system on it so it's got Dolby B anti-rolling mechanism it's very nice but the thing is you might notice it's a cassette player of course however it does play radio as well and how it does that is it basically works by having a radio pack that goes in there and is picked up on those tags at the back there. So the radio pack itself is a bit like a, a cassette, if you will, and that plugs into, into the unit just like a tape would. And you've got your radio. So that's what that little blanking part is there because that's where you tune it across the top. But there'll be more detail on that in an upcoming video because I've got one of these that I'm actually working on at the moment that I'll be servicing and restoring and uh, showing you the insides and showing you how the radio works and all that kind of thing. But for now, I've got to say, this is beautiful. Really is in amazing condition. Whether or not it works is anyone's guess. So... Uh, Let's take a look actually, it should be 3 volts, let's just see, uh, yeah, 3 volts, and it's a positive pin, so let's get my trusty little uh, set. I use a multi-voltage adapter, a master plug one for little things like this. Uh, you may have already seen my video on it, if not, do check that out, it's a useful little bit of kit. And so, to that extent, that looks about right, and we said it's a positive pin. So, now this is a bit of an odd video, perhaps. I just want to check there that we've got the positive positive pin. If you see me going all over in the wrong directions, by the way, and if the audio levels are all over the place, apart from my little bit of uh, hay fever at the moment, a bit sniffly, but if you see my camera work all over the place, I'm trying to get used to a new setup here. I've invested in a new camera, new lights, new microphone, all sorts of stuff. And this is literally almost like a demo video just to see if anything works. Actually, it might not even make it out to you guys. It might be dreadful. But um, I just wanted to, thought I thought I'll share this with you as it just arrived in the post. So anyway, three volts DC and let's have a look. So it's got the tape. So we've got on here, we've got chrome and normal because it actually plays metal tapes as well as type one. You've got split volumes, so you've got left and right independent volume control as well. You've also got a master switch there for your tape or radio, one headphone out, Dolby on or off with a Dolby noise reduction LED and also a battery operation LED as well. So anyway, let's just see what happens. Right, so that's select tape, would be a good start. Press play. And we're away. Now, whether or not this works at full pelt or not, I don't actually know. So what I might just do is put my trusty little, actually, we can try these headphones, can't we? We've tried these headphones. I'm going to be brave and put a tape in. And I'm going to put these headphones in and use them as loudspeakers and see what happens. That sounds all right, you know, to me. 
Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> so the tape speed on play actually sounded okay. And then I went to rewind it. And nothing's happening. You can hear the motor. Fast forward works. Rewind doesn't. So play. Play works. Fast forward works. Rewind goes to, if you watch the spindles. Oh, it wants to work. There. Oh. Yeah, I think just, there we go. If you do it really slowly, I think the belt's probably just gone on that because if you press it slowly, it allows the motor to sort of like just kick in and take off. And it seems to be, if I hold it there, hang on, try it again. Hang on, see, you've just got to get the knack. That's working. But now if I press it all the way in, I know it's working now. See, these are the, this is the thing. It might not have been used for an awfully long time either. So, yeah. So I think what we'll do with this one, yeah, it's not working again now. So what I think we shall do with this particular unit is go ahead and get it open anyway and change the belt on it. Check the potentiometers. Actually, let's have a look. They sound pretty clean. The volume works. So... I'll dig out a radio pack for this. We'll try it out, see whether or not the radio works. I'll have to take it apart anyway to change the belt. So that'd be quite a nice, actually it's an absolutely gorgeous example. It really is. So I've got a box for one of these somewhere. So I think what I'll probably do is make this a, like a pristine example. We'll service it. I'll show you guys how to do that on the channel and do a bit of a show and tell on the radio pack and how all that works as well. But there we go. So just a quick one today. As I say, a bit odd. Lots of ramblings, lots of things in the wrong place on the screen like so because I'm just trying to get my hands around the hole upside down and back to front camera. And um, I don't know if the microphone quality is going to be any good or not. I'll work on that. I'll listen back to this and we'll give it a go. Also, the lighting could be anybody's guess. It's all new. It's all different. But we're investing lots of time, effort and money into the channel at the moment. We're still a tiny channel, so we don't receive a single penny at all for doing this. This is more just for the love of sharing it, really. There is the opportunity to become monetized for the channel and have some sort of ad revenue to help help us along. But um, we need a few more subscribers for that. So if you do enjoy watching the videos and uh, you'd like to see more vintage tech and stuff like that, then do please consider subscribing. It'd really help and it will help, help us to, uh, to sort of get some more cool stuff here on the channel. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Do take care and I'll see you soon. All the best for now. Bye bye.